Weird symbols are getting harder and harder to find, but you know I always come through. Look at this thing. This is a 24 inch fully hammered FX ride symbol from Creative Percussion, and it's made of steel. This is pretty funny. If you go onto their website, they have a comparison of this symbol and a normal symbol. I think it's pretty obvious that this isn't a normal symbol. It's blue, it's razor thin, it looks like an alien egg of some sort, and willing to bet that it sounds as weird as it looks. I know the trend is to have really dry symbols, so if you're trying to jump on that trend, this is the perfect symbol for that. I think it's too lumpy for that. For this next one, we gotta go digging in the weird symbol vault. It's more like a graveyard, let's be honest, and resurrect the Roctagon because I found another. Roctagonal hi-hats. Weird hi-hats are by far the hardest weird symbols to get. <laughs> oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> Which, by the way, I have some really cool and really weird hi-hats on the way for some future videos, so make sure you subscribe. But I found the second Roctagon locally, and as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed some Roctagon hi-hats. <laughs> These things move some air, God. Okay, let's actually line these up even though they don't match up perfectly. As soon as I open them, they want to go back to, to this. If you thought regular hi-hats ate up your sticks, try playing these. This stick was like brand new. Well, we got the Octa Hats. Now we have the Penta Splash. Wuhan Symbols. We checked out their conical china last time, so I figured I'd see what else they had to offer and found this 11 inch linear splash on eBay. Did they color that line in with Sharpie? Looks uh, a little bit weird, if you ask me. I'm pretty sure this was part of a stack that they used to make, and also on their site, they have linear crashes that are bigger than this, but this was the only one I could find. As you could guess, this is the cheapest in today's bunch, coming in at only $62. Kind of bright, kind of splashy, kind of gongy because of the sharp corners on it, so exactly how you think a five-sided splash would sound. I still can't get over this ride.
the Sabian V-Wave. Sabian's definitely in the lead for having the most weird symbols out there. This thing being one of them. I've been trying to find one since I started the series, mainly because I was having a hard time imagining what it would sound like, because the only description I found was this reverb listing. Bright attack, quick decay, very metallic. Can also be used as an uncomfortable hat. I want to wear it like a mullet, but my head's too big. Oh, there's like tape residue that's grabbing my hair. I mean, it's not the most uncomfortable. I got this one from a subscriber that reached out to me and I gotta say, this thing is thick. I was expecting it to be light and splashy. Thing sounds like a dinner bell combined with a mega bell death metal ride. <laughs> I think I figured out the use for this thing. The 18 inch bootleg Crash of Doom made by Masterworks. This is a bit more raw than the Zildjian Crash of Doom, but they are in similar families of sound. But Zildjian doesn't even make an 18 inch anymore, they only make 20s and 22s. The nice thing about the symbol is it's relatively cheap. My first drum teacher had a Crash of Doom and I thought it was like the coolest symbol to ever exist. But when little 13 year old R. David R. saw the price of one, he changed his mind real quick and continued playing his ZBTs. Surprisingly bright and splashy. Wow. These two work really well together. I think this is my favorite symbol so far. 